includes walking meditation for this session I hope the steps that we have made the steps that we have taken have increased the heat in your body because I am freezing I am very cold today I had to wear my shoes and my socks today usually I do not but today I had to make an exception yesterday we were talking about the Eightfold Path and we covered three of the topics not in great detail but enough to hopefully use our minds to carry the information to guide our practice to help us maneuver around in our minds to guide our practice to better quality we spoke about the, the correct perception and view intention and speech the correct perception the correct view will help us from making mistakes with our intention. If you don't have the correct view, what you have is assumption. What you have is guesswork. What you have is unsurety. If you have the correct intention, then you can put together the correct speech. If you have the incorrect intention, then your speech becomes built on an unsturdy foundation which also means the view and perception was also incorrect. So today, continuing on, the next three of the eight fold noble path of the Lord Buddha. May his wisdom guide us closer to self liberation is correct action, livelihood, and then effort. The correct action. What is the correct action? It didn't say become reactionary. We're talking about the correct action for the job, the correct action for the task. We're at a meditation retreat, so we should put the correct action for a person at the meditation retreat. A meditation retreat is not a resort. A resort is not a meditation retreat. Going back to the perception. 
when we're at a meditation retreat or any other establishment or place. The correct actions need to be done there in order to assume the peace that is needed. This doesn't only mean while we are in a group with other people. This also means when we are by ourselves in our own cabins and in our own places of refuge. We have this idea thinking that, well, I'm by myself. It's not going to hurt anybody. I should be allowed to do whatever I want. This is a very selfish attitude. Not only is it harmful for the quality of the mindfulness that you say, going back to speech, you want, it is contrary. It is conflict. It is conflictionary. That's not a real word, but I made it up. It causes conflict. It is hypocritical. Why would we want to harm ourselves? We come to places like meditation retreats to prepare ourselves for when we leave the meditation retreat. And our speech forges our thoughts and our actions. Externally are some actions and some actions are internally. So that also means not only developing the qualities that moves, that our body is moving with, it is also talking about the actions of the mind, the actions of our heart. Once we start to realize, come in tune with the actions of our heart and our mind, we move to livelihood. What does that even mean, livelihood? It means the way the vehicle that we use to sustain our lives. What it is that motivates us to live the lives we have. Is that in accordance with the conditions of mindfulness awareness, self-mastery, quality, and better development. There are some, excuse me, there are some things that make it very difficult, almost impossible and there's things that are very debatable making weapons, being a fisherman, a butcher, 
those are things are up for debate amongst the scholars. And there are things that are unacceptable. Being a career thief, a murderer, rapist. But those things, I hope to God we don't have to deal with. We're talking about the things about our livelihood here. Our livelihood in our waking life. We might work at a good job. Is it the best job? We might work at a place where the livelihood is very reputable. It is very prestigious. It is very well looked after position, career, or job. But is it giving you turmoil? Is it giving you a sense of happiness? Does it make you feel anger, hostility? Is the environment making you a better person or a more abusive, negative person? Your job, your relationship, your partnerships. So this is why Livelihood is mentioned. Livelihood gives you life, not take away from it. Life is energy. Is it taking away from your energy or adding to it? Effort. The next is effort. Are you doing what is necessary to bring about, to manifest, to bring success in your practice, in your spiritual development? in your clearing of the obstacles of the mind and heart, are you doing what is necessary? Are you putting enough energy and effort to the task? Simply showing up to the gym, showing up to the meditation retreat, or showing up to the job does not get the job done. You must use the correct actions to show that you are serious about making change. Action, livelihood, and effort. There's no way that I came all the way to Mei Hong Song, just to sit here and not do anything. I came all this far away from the country where I resided at, just to come here and sleep. And then after I've had a nice sleep, complain about meditation doesn't work. Effort means doing the research, doing the study or practice necessary before coming to my job, to this place here, to the gym, 
travel, ETC. I've had a lot of people reach out to me. I would love to come to Thailand. I would love to come learn about Buddhism, learn about meditation, blah, blah, blah. And you ask them, how is your day going? And they say, I just bought a new car. I just moved into a new apartment. I just went to a concert last night. How is that reflecting on your effort if you want to travel? If you are serious about your motivation, then your efforts, your actions, your speech, your behaviors, your livelihood must reflect your intention. With that being said, brothers and sisters of Wat Tamua, we, we will continue formal meditation practice, sitting meditation for about 30 minutes or more. If I have said something, anything that goes against the Buddha, the Dhamma, or the Sangha, let it be known that the weakness and lacking is not of the path of the Buddha. It is in my unknowingness or not enough wisdom of the path. I am not a scholar of Buddhism, nor am I a meditation master. With that being said, we shall continue. Satu, satu, satu. Imehen ting patung pan ting sangkan.